Hey guys, and welcome back to the ASX Investor Channel. Today, it looks like Weebit Nano may be on the verge of announcing their first commercial agreement. There's been a lot of excitement surrounding the ASX WBT story as they've headed towards commercialization, and now there is the potential that they may be right on the verge of it. Today's video, we're going to unpack some of the recent news and the discussion and speculation about what this trading halt could mean as I've entered it and where they might head from here. Please note as well that it's an early stage discussion. None of the discussions that we have today have been confirmed by the company yet. So investors will be watching for official announcements moving forward. If you did enjoy the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up as well. We make daily videos. So if you're new around here, make sure you've subscribed and turn your bell notifications on. And a reminder that I'm not a financial advisor. Nothing we talk about on the channel is financial advice. Everything we discuss is just a general discussion to be that starting spot for you to do your own research from. So before kickstarting into the recent discussion and speculation surrounding this commercial agreement for ASX WBT, it makes sense for us to have a bit of a quick refresher into who is Weebit Nano and what is the opportunity that they're trying to solve. At their core, Weebit are developing an innovative re-RAM technology. We know that with the digital adoption as it continues to pick up pace and as technology continues to become more and more complex, new memory technologies are going to be necessary to feed into this. And Weebit are hoping that their re-RAM memory technology can be one of these solutions. We bit have a top of class technology, they've got an experienced and world class leadership team and they've gone through the journey all the way through. We know the traditional journey in the sector goes from concept through the R&D phase, ultimately to productization and then ultimately commercialization. Investors who have looked into the WBT story know that they've been waiting for that first commercial agreement to signal this milestone moving into commercialization and that's why there's such significant excitement surrounding this story. We'd love to know your thoughts as well. So drop in a comment below what you think about Weebit and what do you think a commercial agreement could mean for the company as it continues to scale. And so then the question is, what's the story? There's been some discussions and speculation that Weebit Nano may be announcing its first official commercial agreement with Skywater. Skywater are a US-based and owned semiconductor developer. They're actually one of the only US pure play foundries. And of course, we know how important the semiconductor space is as really a component of strategic importance to a global supply chain. We know that there's a focus on localization of supply chains and a focus particularly in the United States. We've heard it from Joe Biden speaking about localizing and bringing these supply chains back on shore. And so this means that companies that can feed into this are likely to be beneficiaries of this tailwind and this trend moving forward. And that's what Skywater is hoping to feed into. Skywater, as you can see, specializes in advanced product design, development and volume manufacturing. They own their own foundry and the agreement, if it's signed, could mean that they license Weebit's re-ram technology to utilize in their chips that they produce. We can see here that Joe Biden has been pushing forward a significant infrastructure bill worth trillions of dollars and as part of it is calling for $50 billion to be invested into the chip industry. We know there's this focus of bringing production onshore and online and Skywater are actually a US Department of Defense accredited supplier which would be a huge opportunity. We've heard discussions from companies in the space that they're really seeking that first commercial agreement because from there the snowball starts to pick up pace. Of course with new innovative and disruptive technologies it's always a bit of a leap of faith to be the first company to utilize and embed that technology within your product or within your fab but once that's been done and the use case been validated and proven to the markets then other companies are likely to come on board as of course they want to be able to be beneficiaries of this new technology they don't want to fall behind in a crowded and competitive space so this first agreement if it does go through could be a significant one it would be a milestone and we know that in the early stage space milestone agreements help to de-risk the potential opportunity up ahead and so all investors will be watching the ASX WBT story for potential announcements coming forward over the next few days as they are in this pause in trading. It's worth noting as well that one of the key factors that interests investors looking into the Weebit Nano story is their leadership team. David Perlmutter has got a long and storied history from Intel, who actually led the Intel Architecture Group as general manager, and he was chief product officer of Intel Corporation. So he's got a depth of experience and a real understanding about how to scale and build a global semiconductor company. You can see across the board as well, their CEO, Kobe Hanok, has got a depth of experience as well. And all of their different non-executive and executive directors have got a wealth of experience in the semiconductor space, all that will be able to feed into and help this commercialization process that they're about to embark on. And so then the question is, where to from here? If this first commercial agreement does come to market, it would be a huge validation of the technology. We've been stated that their technology is top of class. It's a top of class re-ram technology, which of course is faster, has better endurance and provides better performance than the current incumbent flash technologies. But this would be a huge validation of the technology with a leading player over in the United States that's really trying to scale and become a global leading player. 
we know that there is that commercial agreement snowball. Weebit is searching for agreements on two different dimensions. Firstly, seeking for agreements with fabs who would license the technology to embed with the chips that they produce and that they can offer to their customers. And also with individual companies as well that would license the reram technology that they could embed in the products that they were hoping to produce and ultimately sell. This of course is a significant milestone. It helps to really bring to market the fact that this reram technology has validation. It's got a use case. And if successful, it's likely that other companies will follow on from there. And from there, we are hoping to scale the offering. We've heard previously that they're hoping to start with tier two players who are potentially looking for a leg up or potentially looking for some benefits or a competitive advantage against some of the incumbent tier one players. They believe it will give them an, some benefits with negotiation and ease of access to these players as well. As we've discussed, I've got a really experienced leadership and management team who know how these negotiations and discussions take place. So their focus is to start with some of the tier two players who would benefit from this competitive advantage that their reram technology could bring and then look to scale their offering from there. Of course, as the technology continues to be established, we know that Weebit initially is pursuing the embedded memory market, but they continue to make advancements and stride forwards as well on the discrete memory side. So they've got a long growth runway ahead of them. As the digital adoption picks up pace, as the rollout of Internet of Things technology advances, and as technologies become more and more complex, they're going to require higher levels of memory technology and better quality of processing. And that's something that Weebit's reram technology can provide. It's a fascinating space. It could be a potentially formative period in the Weebit story if this commercial agreement does come to market. So we'll look forward to see what happens from there. We'd love to know your thoughts. So drop in a comment below. If you did enjoy the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up as well and feel free to share it out. This past period, we've interviewed a range of different CEOs on the channel. So we'll leave links to those up above as well that you can check out after this one. We're the ASX Investor Channel and we make daily videos talking about the stock market investing and we find and analyze the best growth stocks. So if you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button. Make sure you've got your bell notifications turned on as well so you won't miss a daily episode and we'd love to have you join the community. Reminder that I'm not a financial advisor and nothing we talk about on the channel is financial advice. These are all just general discussions to be that starting spot for your own research. And of course, this discussion is still very speculative in nature because no official discussions have come to market yet. So we'll be waiting to watch to see the official announcements as they do flow through. Thank you so much for joining us. For now, stay well and happy investing.